Mis protegidos de la Santa Cecilia, por los que sienten la inspiración colgar de un hilo, por los que se sienten al borde de un abismo, este es un llamado para todos los que fueron, son y serán. Muchachos, atentos. Marisol, and I'm the singer for La Santa Cecilia. Gracias. Well, I've been singing since I was like 10, um, and I learned on Olvera Street. I grew up there, so um, that's where I learned how to sing with the trios and the mariachis and the singers. I would just stop by and play with their guitars, and they're the ones that taught me, and just, I mean, that's where I learned, you know? And I'm still learning, of course, with every everywhere else I get to go and stuff like that and meet, but... Um, For now, that's that's where I'm from. I'm from Placita Olvera. Well, I found myself walking over the edge, a trip, a tripping on yesterday. Oh. So I guess it's traditionally based, right? Like the music, the style, like cumbias and boleros and norteñas and rancheras and and you know and like afro and cuban music and all that stuff right so it's just like a mixture of all the things we've known or experimented and then we just like ah let's do this with that and 
kind of like cooking, you know? It's like, oh, also puts in percussion like this, and Gloria puts in guitar like this, you know? And, you know, it's like, ah, oh, un menjurje de cosas, you know? And then we bake it. I said I've never been content. We have already played in other bands and played for a perform music that isn't ours, so we decided that we wanted to finally make a band where we could do what we wanted. Our own little thing, you know? La Santa Cecilia uh, consists of six members, uh, drums, percussion, um, bass, voice, guitar, myself, and then our six member does a combination of requinto and accordion. The best thing I can say is we play Latin music, and we play so many different styles and genres that y you come to a show and you can't say that it's a cumbia band or norteña band or whatever. You can come in there and really get a taste of so many different Latin styles. But we've known each other for a long time, like all of us have kind of been in other things and had friendships for a long time. Especially Marisol, we uh, actually grew up together here at Placito Olvera. We met when we were 15 years old. Marisol, she knows how to project her music. She's, she feels it, man. Uh, we have Miguel, who is kind of like the papa bear. We call him Oso. And uh, he is the one that, one of the, one of the core members of the group who really helps us keep together. So he'll be like drumming away or, um, on his congas and then tilt over and give us that look like, you messed up. They call me Oso, which means bear. <laughs> Just because I'm like a burly, hairy dude or whatever, but uh, I really care about this project. I really have a lot of passion towards this project, and I just, I just try to utilize the experience that I have, you know, in music, and you know, my experience dealing with, you know, a variety of like musicians, like from freelancing, you know, I get to know a lot of different personalities playing music and what works, what doesn't work, you know what I mean, and just really trying to like take this music and our band to a next level. So I, you know, I try to look out for everybody in that sense and just kind of like make sure we're trying to perform at our best. Also, and I took a trip, you know, we had always wanted to work together and play, but he was always playing in other bands and stuff. So we took a trip to Mexico, you know, and we went to Michoacán and DF and y pues escuchando música y estábamos soñando. We're like, like we can travel together. We're like good friends. Like, why don't we just play music already? Like, let's start something, you know? On a personal level, my intent has always been to to uplift people and inspire people through culture and through art, to help them, even if for a split second, to uh, show them something beautiful, to inspire them, to, to let them see that the, some sort of truth on their own for that split second so that it can inspire them to and motivate them to, to live their life according to what they, you know, they see or understand through music. I think we're all pretty talented musicians and we have such different influences, so I think that's why La Santa Cecilia is such like a melting pot of just different styles of music because someone will like Norteña and someone will like jazz, some will like uh, mariachi or ska, and then we just try to combine all those different tastes and, and make them into one. And sometimes it just sounds like a mess, but we're hoping that through time they evolve and they actually sound a little more together. La Santa Cecilia has a lot of different influences. All the members bring something to the table. To me, music is like it's like living, man. If I didn't, I found it. It found me and I found it, you know. If I didn't have that, I don't know what else I'd be doing. It's like my passion. I love to create music, love to play music. Um, I kept it because that's what keeps me going. A friend of mine in junior high school, he said, you know, I need a bass player for my dad's band. He had like a Norteño band. 
And uh, I was like, I never played music in my life. I was 12 years old, and he, he just said, you know, you want to play bass? And I was like, all right. So he taught me how to play bass. And the next thing I know, like a week later, I was playing with him at a, at a party. <laughs> we were playing all these uh, rancheras and, you know, vo boleros and all these other stuff. And I just from there, I just took it, you know. I started playing with Santa Cecilia because of Gloria. You know, she, I know Gloria from Pasadena City College as well. So she's the one that called, she's the person that called me. I respected her a lot. You know, just because every time I heard her play, it was like, oh, this is, you have it. You know, you, you're really good. And she has she has that really that you know the jazz background. But she also likes all that, you know, ranchera, mariachi music, so, you know. There was a lot of chemistry on the first rehearsal I, you know, I did with them. Because the first they hired me to do a couple of gigs. And so they told me, you have to come to rehearsal. So we rehearsed and uh, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I like this, you know, I like the instrumentation, you know. And like, like I said, the fact that I, play, I get to play with a percussionist, it's a, it's, it's a lot of fun for me. Pepe's el muñeco, right? And he's like, you know, just because how he stands and he like mueve la cadera and everything, like he's he's cool, you know? And I don't know, something about his accordion playing or requinto playing that it's just like, damn, you know? Yeah, so it's good, he's the shit, man, I love it. If I ever need to feel something or like when we're playing, like I look at him and he, he me contagia, wey, you know? I'm like, he's like, I'm like, hell yeah, all right, cool, you know? Like, I love that feeling, you know? He gets into it. His whole body gets into it. He's like, I'm like, wow. Y las muchachas, no? Bailando y acá. Ah, I don't know. Muñeco. <laughs> well, according to them, that's me. I don't know why. Well, they call me el muñeco. I guess everyone has to be identified somehow, right? Or they don't remember my name, so they probably call me el muñeco. But I first picked up the, the requinto, which is a a uh, romantic uh, guitar for Spanish ballads. I picked it up at the age of 12. My dad actually, um, he's the one that inspired us to pick up the guitar. He was the one, you had to do something, man. You guys had to do something. You and your brother learn how to play some guitar, take some serenatas to the girls. La Santa Cecilia makes music for the people. Uh, for whatever we're feeling, I think other people grew up with the same, especially here in LA, Girl, girls up with different cultures and the hip hop scene, the rock scene, the Norteña scenes, the Mexican music, your parents, the cumbias, merengue. So we try to incorporate all of the music that we've grown up with into, uh, into our band. For, for everybody, you know, we're not really trying to play for a particular group of uh, people. We're just really trying to uh, take what we're doing and, and really hope that it reaches uh, a wide variety of people. I think La Santa Cecilia is like, it's like a sopa del mundo, you know? Rolls. <laughs> So we're playing the Latino Film Festival, right? And uh, we're at the Egyptian Theater. I guess it's called the American Cinematheque now or something like that. 
and there's hardly any people and we're gonna go on in like 45 minutes but um but some of our friends came and you guys came hola um and we just hope we have a good time and well we are it's gonna be like band practice i guess just performance right? no it's gonna be more than band practice it's gonna be a great show so Yay! stick around <laughs> this is gloria genius in the guitar uh, yeah. yeah she is you are accordion player over here? No, 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 I don't know. Sabe tocar de todo. Gloria, I think she did that on the sideline. Oh, sorry, sorry. Edit, delete. I hear you, maestro, drummer. Sorry, man, I just woke up, man. I was taking a little nap. I like to take a little nap before I play, so, you know. <laughs> All right. We're done with the burning. We, we just finished, we finished all these. I, I mean, yeah, look at, they're all different colors and stuff, so um, we wanna do them homemade, there are, C, there are CDs. So this is La Santa Cecilia CD, painted by myself. Well, made by all of us. Um, we all pitch in and burn the CDs and paint them and put little bowls on them and we have different colors because I get bored of just the same color. So, yeah, we hope we get rid of all of these babies. Yay, our babies.
En algún momento todo estaba muy bien, yo cantando por la vida, caminando por la calle, hasta que un día de repente se cruza un muchacho. Ay, 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 y todo cambió.
se baña, tan fresca donde se baña la luna en la serranía. Antes de que amaneciera, antes de que amaneciera me estaba cantando una vez, con su voz tan placentera se quejaba triste y suave, encontrarás quien te quiera, pero como yo, quién sabe, encontrarás quien te quiera, pero como yo, quién sabe. Cuando no me veas, siente que estoy a tu lado izquierdo, cuando no me veas, siente que estoy a tu lado izquierdo, que soy el viento que muerde los cabellos de tu frente, que soy el viento que muerde los cabellos de tu frente.